The sheer variety of species of bird life on display today at Dead Tree Island was quite astounding. There were several small groups and pairs of Egyptian geese wandering around the floodplain. These geese are are quite funny to watch. They waddle around with such an air of self-importance. They they strut around as if they own the place. At one stage, a pair had a had a very long and very vigorous bath in a in an open patch of water. It was a really beautiful scene to watch and film. A bit later on, a, a group of black winged stilts engaged in what was supposed to have been a, a territorial battle of sorts. A small family of Hottentot teal sun themselves in front of a red lechwe. This is such an iconic Okavango Delta scene with water birds in front of the semi-aquatic antelope. It was really quite telling of the area that we're in. There were several African jacanas wandering around in front of me. If one sits still, these these birds will will often approach quite close, and several came several came very close to me today. Just sitting patiently today, watching this this variety and this this depth of life in front of us was was really quite amazing. It's it's such a a privilege to be able to to sit in a place like this. Great trunks of trees reaching up to the forest canopy and shafts of light, life bringing light, playing in the leaves, just such a beautiful place. The first thing we hear today is a, is the buzzing of a thousand wings, a beehive in a fallen tree trunk and the bees extremely active in gathering as much pollen for honey as they can to see them through the barren winter months which are lying just ahead. It's always reassuring to see these creatures just knowing that they are there in their environment speaks of a certain health in that environment. the little things and hear the web of what looks to me like a garbage line spider, one of the many of that species. A delicate creature, invisible until it moves. And when these great trunks fall to the earth at the end of their lives, they are attached upon by these plate-like polyporous or bracket fungi which assist in the breaking down of the wood and the feeding of the nutrients back into the earth for another life cycle which comes with the 
next spring and summer. And growing through and over these bracket fungi are these beautiful red berries from some alien creeper. Nonetheless beautiful, these berries are poisonous. For me I'm just drawn to the beautiful configuration of form and colour that nature presents, whether alien, exotic or indigenous. A male vervet monkey waking gently into the day, scratching on a wound on his leg there. Nothing too serious. Just sitting in the treetops, observing us who walk on the forest floor. And here, the feathered remains of what looks like a wood owl that met its timely death at the claws or teeth of a predator, perhaps a genet. Just reassuring to see that the cycles of life continue here in the Hawaiian forest. We were delighted one morning to see this colony of termites using a fallen bamboo stem to cross one of the streams here. I was told that some kinds of termites move home regularly as the food close to them runs short and perhaps that is what is happening in this case. The sun filtering through the canopy dappled the bamboo stem and the termites seemed to glisten as they passed through the brighter patches. Unfortunately, we must have arrived towards the end of this move as fairly soon the numbers started to dwindle to a trickle. (laughs) 